Good evening and welcome to Christ Church Thornton on this Tuesday evening for our 6 p.m. nightly prayer for the nation. Thank you for joining me here in the church building, although of course you're watching on screen. You'll notice again, it's daylight. I wanted to record this video earlier in the day so that you at home could see the spectacular view that I get in the morning here at Christ Church. Look behind me. Look at the reflection of the stained glass windows on the floor. Just look around. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, this view that you're seeing now, we didn't have this time last year, because this time last year, our volunteers were busy taking out the pews, restoring the floor, gluing it, um, doweling it, sanding it, varnishing it. And so this is the first time in, in kind of sort of early February we've seen this view since the church was really rebuilt in the 1960s. And uh, as the sun moves around throughout the day, we get different, different um, reflections coming through. But the best side is that side, the south side. And look, you can just see the whole length of the stained glass window on the floor there. Now, you can look forward to coming back again once the pandemic's over and being here midweek, walking around, sitting down, having a coffee, praying, talking with people. That's one thing to look forward to, isn't it? But let's pray to God to continue his intervention, that that might happen again, so that our world can once again socialize, hug, embrace, be with each other. Let's pray. Loving God, at this time of crisis when so many are suffering, we pray for our nation and our world. Give our leaders wisdom, our health service strength, our people hope. Lead us through these parched and difficult days to the fresh springs of joy and comfort that we find in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our special focus of prayer on a Tuesday is for the elderly, the isolated, and the vulnerable. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you that you know each and every person you have created. Before they were created, you knew their date of birth and their date of death. You know every detail in between. You are an all-powerful, all-knowing God. And so right now, you know, Lord God, exactly who is in that position of feeling isolated and vulnerable. And those who are elderly, and with that comes other challenges in life. So we bring those people before you, especially locally here in Fonts and Cleveland, but of course, wherever people are praying from now, whether it be in this country or another country, even the USA, those watching there, pray for your loved ones and those you know locally who are vulnerable, isolated, and elderly. Let's have a moment now to bring to mind, and as we bring to mind those people, God knows who it is that we're praying for. Almighty God, we ask that you'll strengthen those who we're thinking of, that in any weakness they feel, they'll know your divine strength. We ask that you'll bring comfort and healing for any who might be feeling poorly or weakness of body or mind. Please, Lord, grant them the touch of your healing power. We know, Lord, sometimes you achieve that healing through compassion of other humans, through medical care, or just through your supernatural power. Please, Lord, we pray, those who feel very much on their own, please help them not feel isolated. May they know our prayers, our love, the message from a neighbor or a friend. May, may they just sense the company, the presence of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Spirit. For those, Lord, who see earth as being everything, and that this world is all, all, and that what they live now is all the world has to offer. Lord, please give them faith in a future that is brighter and better. Abundant life through relationship with Jesus on earth, but everlasting life in the eternal glory of heaven, where we can be with you eternally, where we'll never be lonely. Give, Lord, to those who don't have that hope, give them faith in you. We thank you, Lord, tonight for those who work with the vulnerable, elderly, and isolated. It might be carers, hospital staff, nurses, doctors, and family members who are full-time carers. We pray, too, for those who are involved in running care homes, for the managers, proprietors, the, the frontline care staff. We think of other people who care for people locally. We think of those delivering meals to, to houses. We think of district nurses popping in to do their medical work. We think of local funeral directors 
who are very much at the forefront of helping those who are isolated, those who are bereaved, those who have lost a loved one. We pray for John and Angela Byrne locally, the staff of D. Hollowell and Sons, Fenton's and Cleveland's, and many other funeral directors, just to name a few there locally. Lord, please strengthen them, bless them, help them. When they feel weak, be their strength. When they feel despair, be their hope. And Lord Jesus, may you be the center of our hope. Yes, we thank you for the hope of a vaccine and the glimmer of light we keep hearing about it brings. But Lord, we already have light. Jesus, you came to be light in the world, to dispel the darkness. So may you be right now, presently, the light in all our lives. Especially, Lord, for those suffering the effects of COVID-19. Those with long COVID, those in hospital now, those recovering. Lord, please help them. Please bring them through this difficult period. And we pray for your ongoing intervention. That, Lord, this virus will, will mutate in a way which makes it less dangerous, less transmissible. That the vaccines will be effective. Lord, we apologize for the way we've marred your creation but we haven't looked after your world. Please, we pray, have mercy, have compassion, intervene and bring about an, an end to this global situation. We seek your help, Lord. We seek your mercy. We seek your deliverance from danger. Amen. Let's pray in a prayer which Jesus taught us to pray. This time it will be in traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And our special prayer, called our collect for this week, which if you follow the daily devotions each morning at seven o'clock, you'll notice we integrate these collects. We, we, we reflect and, and learn. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who in his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins. So, oh, oh that's, the wrong, that's the wrong prayer. I'm sorry, that's not the collect. That's a prayer of absolution. Still a good prayer, though. I'll start again. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things, now and forever. Amen. What a lovely phrase. The Holy Spirit and Christ and the Father God reign supreme over all things, now and forever. Have those words ringing in your ears as we say goodnight and God bless. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.